Hey y'all, it's Ta. Welcome back. So today I have for you guys a Dollar Tree haul. It is not a lot at all. Um, I picked this up the other day and I just finally got it out of my car. Because I had to go get something for somebody else. And I was like, well, since I'm here, I just kind of went through and grabbed some random things. Um, I was going to do the CVS stuff for you guys today. But after going through everything, I'm just... I can't find that deal to start back with, you know? So, I think I'm going to wait um, until next week. And I'll have two weeks worth of the CRTs. And maybe I can make some magic happen. Because I'm not liking the out-of-pockets this week. So, we will see what next week brings. Um, so, anyway, Dollar Tree haul. So, I got these. They are some Abe Lincoln socks. I'm hoping to get these sent out in the mail to my little buddy who likes Abe Lincoln. Hopefully he doesn't have any. I don't. I haven't seen his mom haul any. I don't remember. But if not, he'll have two pair. And then I picked up two more of these Barbie things. Because I had gotten some for Abby twice now. And the first one, she wound up having one duplicate. And then the second set that I got her, she had a duplicate from there and there's only eight of them so it's hard to get all of them without getting a duplicate so figure two more she can give it a shot and then she's all about painting and if you would see this table I'm sitting at this is kind of like her art station it's got canvases glitter paint I got it all with a penny tablecloth so she needed a new um, palette so I went ahead and got this one and it holds ten different colors so that'll keep her busy. And then to go with it, we got some new paint brushes. Get a set of seven. Um, normally she uses, um, you know, like the really cheap ones, the plastic ones. And she does have this one. It's like a little bit nicer, but not a whole lot nicer. So I decided to get her those. And then I bought these. And it says, great job. And you can fill it in. So I have an idea with these. So... We shall see. And then I got a couple bags of peanuts because here in our area we have a park. Like they call it the lake because it's literally a big grassy area and all that stuff wrapped around the lake. Um, and you can go put your RV out there. You can go um, just spend the day if you want it. You know, there's a lot of grassy area. There's picnic tables and pavilions and playgrounds all built into it. But if you want to go camping, tons of things to do besides just sit in your camper. And then there's also little areas that you could fish from the land. Like you won't have to get in a boat for. And then if you wanted to go tent camping, there's a spot for that. And then further down, which they just extended since, um, like, after Hurricane Katrina and all that stuff with all the FEMA stuff, there was a section that was for all of the FEMA trailers um, where people didn't have anywhere to go. They put them there. That all kind of turned into, like, more camping area. So that it was more of, like, a beachy, like, it had more sand than everywhere else. So, anyway. Um, and they do the big boat races right there, too. So, the point of this whole explanation is they have a ton of squirrels, just like any other park. But, these, you can literally walk up to them and hand feed them. And I know a lot of places you could probably do that. But, to have it right here, not even 10 minutes away, it's pretty awesome. Um, like, we used to take Abby and she loved doing it well. I noticed that it's more of the black squirrels than the brown squirrels. And recently, uh, we've had squirrels showing up in our yard. We've had both brown and black squirrels. But the black ones, we are to the point now where we can put, um, like we'll put the peanuts out and they come and eat it out of the container. But my husband decided to take a broom. I don't know why. It's just what he did. Um, and he took... The little handle part where you would hang it like on a rack. He put a piece of aluminum foil, like a loop, and he put a peanut in it. And he pinched it off so that it wouldn't fall. And he slowly made his way to the fence and he put it up there and the squirrel, he'll take it from you out of the broom. So now we're trying to work our way to a shorter 
device and eventually we want the black squirrels to take it from our hands. So I'm always buying peanuts and I know there's a long explanation of why I bought peanuts, but I want to hand feed a squirrel in my yard. That's the whole point of the peanuts. Um, like tonight we were outside playing baseball before it started raining and stuff and they had a squirrel and he stopped the game so that he can go and feed the squirrel with the broom to get it kind of used to us approaching whatever area he's in because we don't always do it in the same area. So anyway, maybe one day we can hand feed them on the fence or whatever or they'll come running up to us and I can get it on video and show you guys that we train these squirrels to let us hand feed them. <laughs> anyway, back to the haul. Three more items and they're all the same. I finally found the candle making sets that um, people were hauling. I bought one in each color. I don't know if there's a difference. But this one is the kind of like teal colored candle making kit. And then I got the lavender colored one. And there's like a, whoops, a red orangey. So I got all three of these. I have no idea what to do because I have not opened them yet. So let's open one and see what's in the box. Ooh. Ooh, that smells really good when you pop that open. Wow. So, inside of the box, you get the jar with the wick already in it. And then you get, they kind of stuck together from being in my car. I really think that's why they're kind of, you get an apricot, magnolia. That's the one that's taken over all of this. This right here. That's what that whole box smells like. And the last one is apple cinnamon. Like, the only thing I smell on the apple cinnamon is the magnolia. So, I'm going to let these get back to room temperature before I do anything with them. But, all it says, let's see. Fill the wicked jar with scented granules. Layer the granules to create designs and patterns. Trim the wick to a quarter inch before lighting. Uh, light the candle and enjoy so you just fill it up with this stuff um, however you want make like a three layered um, candle scent which is pretty neat y'all I smell nothing but magnolia now um, so yeah I'm gonna make three candles and it looks like magnolia is in each of them because the other one is magnolia lavender and Asian lily oh I bet that's gonna smell amazing and then fresh linen, magnolia, and coastal breeze. That's going to smell good too. But that magnolia is the bomb. I can I probably just take a whole, um, like all three packs and make a big magnolia candle. That'd be great. But this kind of reminds me of um, the pink zebra. I think that's what it was called, where you made your own candles. And it comes like this, and you had to dump the little bead things into it or whatever that melts it. But this is more like granule, salt granule type. But still really cool for a buck to make your own candle and then you can gift it to someone. Why not? So, I think that's everything. Yeah, the only thing left in that bag is more peanuts. Um, like I said, I'm hoping to uh, hand feed a squirrel in my yard. And also, if you guys did not know, I had to do research on this. Did you know that blue jays eat peanuts? Because I, I noticed the blue jays showed up in our yard because we have blue jays, we have chickadees, cardinals, male and female. We have doves. Um, and we also have a brown thrasher. I did look that up. And then recently we started getting, we have like two or three blackbirds that show up. But, uh, yeah, blue jays come into the bucket, grab a peanut, fly away, eat it, and then come back. Or they stash it. Because I did see that they do stash peanuts. And also, um, over my neighbor's, well, over the fence to my neighbor's yard, he, um, he has a ton of trees in his backyard. And I can, I saw the uh, blue jay take off with a nut and it was on his branches. And he was trying to hide the nut in the tree so that the squirrels couldn't find it. I was like, what? And the funny thing is... Like three days later, I watched a younger brown squirrel 
go into the same tree and search the same branch looking for the peanut. It could smell that the peanut was there. It was so funny. But yeah, our whole quarantine thing has been birds and squirrels. Every day we go outside, we feed the birds, we feed the squirrels. I've been learning about what type of birds are in my yard. Like, it's crazy. To the point where for Father's Day, homeboy's getting a bird bath. That's what he wants. He wants a bird bath. That way they have more amenities when they come. Like, he loves his birds. But, um, Blue Jay is his favorite and we have two of them that keep coming back. Because they've come at the same time. At first we thought it was just one, but there's actually two of them. So that was pretty neat. And the brown thrasher had to look that up because it was, I was like, oh, that's a new kind of bird. And it was. So, all right, I will stop talking about the birds. One day I'll just have to go outside and just do like a let's look at nature video, right? Um, so, yeah, I will let you guys go with that. Don't forget to play the trivia if you are wanting to play trivia and win five bucks. Um, giveaway is still going on and it is a crafting challenge for crafting at home all you have to do is send in the photos and I think that's it right now and then afterwards we'll see about doing a, another giveaway that is not craft related because not everybody crafts I know that so there will be another giveaway for everyone that they can enter into and then eventually we'll hit 800 and I'll do another giveaway for that. And yeah. All right. I'm going to go get Abby ready for bed now. Bye y'all.